God bless you on this beautiful evening. Man, it was a beautiful day out there. It wasn't that much sun, but it was still beautiful. And I'm doing well. Uh, thanks for asking. I hope you're doing well. To, to the family members that lost people or, or someone that have the 19, um, I'm praying for you guys. Um, I want to start off a little bit with something funny. I was in Dollar Tree the other day, and uh, two uh, girls came in and... The one said, girl, you you ain't got no mask on. The one that had the mask on. Girl, you ain't got no mask on. The other girl said, I ain't worried about no 19. I ain't worried about no 19. If these babies and these men didn't kill me, I ain't worried about no 19. So other they got to talking, and I'm just, I'm looking for movies, just relaxing, looking for movies, you know what I mean? And find, trying to find somebody that I can... Uh, witness to and, and, and talk the goodness of, of God. That's my job. That's what I do. Uh, and I happened to get in the same aisle with them uh, a few minutes later. And the one girl said, mm, girl, I can't wait till my, my beauty, the beauty salons open back up, girl. I got to get my hair done. And when she said that, you know, most of us going to look what you heard. So I looked over at her hair and I want to pray that the beauty salons come back open. No, you're supposed to be laughing now. You're supposed to be laughing. I hope you was laughing because this is tough time. This is tough time. Uh, and, and I can feel it today and I'm really crying in my spirit because I'm glad that I have a relationship with the Lord because I can call or I can believe that it's a higher, high, a higher power than man that can turn this thing around. Now, I want to take you to a scripture. I'm not going to read it because we have plenty of time right now. You need to pick that Bible up. Get your cell phone out. No, no, no. Don't stop wearing that weed. Uh-uh. No. Pick your cell phone up. If you don't have no Bible, Google uh, Jonah chapter 3, verses 7. Jonah chapter 3, verses 7. Now, what I'll do, I'll give you an introduction of it as far as uh, this is the time that Jonah was supposed to go to to Nineveh and preach to these people, but these people were sinning people. What do you mean, Pastor, by sinning people? They're gang banging. Come on, somebody. They 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 gang banging. They selling dope, talking about people, road rage, on Facebook, arguing and fighting, shootings. Why the why the virus is going on? We having shootings. Uh, 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 th these are the people I'm talking about. You know what I mean? Ah, uh, don't 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 stop wearing that. Go ahead. I'm I'm talking to the drug dealers. I'm talking to the crack cocaine smokers. I'm talking about to to the people that are getting ready to do hair run. Put that needle down for a moment. I'm I'm talking to you. Stop wearing that dope right now. You you can roll the blunt later. Come on, somebody. No 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 no. I'm talking to the one that's getting ready to go to the liquor store or got some liquor fitting the drink. That's who I'm talking about because you are all God's people and we love you. God loves you. And all of us had a past. I find my right hand if you can't find yours. We all have had a past. I don't care how churchy you is. I don't care how big your hat is and how sharp your suit is. You had a past and still got a past. Come on, somebody. And you have sinned since you've been saved. Come on, somebody. Tell the truth, shame the devil. The Bible said we all have came short, short of the glory of God. So we all are like filthy rags to him if we really think about it. So I'm talking to you sinning people, the ones that really think backbiters, the, the busy bodies in the church that talks about the pastor uh, all the way down to his wife and goes from the wife, the pastor's wife to the pastor's children. You, you put your mouth, and you got to understand, we got to be careful. Not only whether it was a pastor not putting your mouth on anybody, but she thinks she's something. Well, why she shouldn't think she's something? You think you something, she should think she's something. It is not our business what nobody thinks. It's what you think about you that make you do better. I wish I had somebody to say amen. So that's what we're talking about. When you read that chapter 3, verse 7 of Jonah, it's talking about when all of the people, the sinning people, I'm talking about the gamblers that's shooting dice. Come on, somebody. 
I no, don't put that. No, put your pistol down. Make sure that pistol out of the house. Don't no baby get it. Put it high up on the shelf somewhere. Lock it up. I'm talking about you. That's carrying pistols. I, I'm talking about you. Pray. Come on, it's time for us to turn. This is this is the only fight we have. I'm not talking about no opinions on TV. I'm not talking about God is the virus. He'll turn this thing around. I'm telling you. See, we came through most of it as old like I am or older like I am, seeing the, the blizzard of 78. We got through that. Come on, this is something new to everyone. This is why it's, it's, it's shocking everyone, even me as a pastor. God do not float down from heaven in my bedroom in the morning. Come on, I do not fly six inches off the ground. I'm a pure man just like you are. Human beings trying to do this thing the right way. But I'm telling you, this is what we got to do. The people in the church, from the pastors to the guy that cut the church grass, I'm talking about the choir director, the deacon of the church, the elders of the church, the mothers in the church. Come on, somebody. The evangelists in the church. If you know God, you need to latch on to somebody that don't know God. Quit giving scripture to people that should know scripture. That's what we do. We, tr we, we give scriptures back and forth to each other. But we have sinning people in our family that you need to be spending that time with them. I'm, I'm rooted and grounded. And, and it is good to share scripture. I'm not saying don't do that. But right now, it's time for us to reach out to them baby saints. I drink a drink and it's called naked. Most of y'all know what I'm talking about. And that's where I'm coming to today. I want the people that's naked. I don't need to give you a sermon. God going to do it. God's in the valley. God's in the wheel. God, I don't need to do that. I need to tell you the truth. Because the truth will set you free. We need to change from what we're doing and show God right now that I have a, a will to change. I don't care if you're a drug dealer. Weighing up that dope. Look up to the heavens. If you got a mama, if you got somebody that you love and you believe in, a, your mama, daddy, your sisters and brother, your daughter, your sons, your grandmama, your co-workers, your best friend, if you care anything about them people, come on, somebody. Don't take that little short dress off. That you've been getting ready to show on Facebook. Don't worry about that. Go ahead and pray. It's time for praying people. We, we need to pray everywhere we can. That God turn this thing around. Because it haven't peaked yet. And then we're going to get to a point. That when it's over. It's going to take a while. So we have got to understand. That we need to be strong in the Lord. And start changing. I'm talking about the sin of people that I don't do no church. I ain't worried about no church. I don't do no God. I'm, I'm talking about you. If you got breath in your body, you need to pray. Come on, somebody. I'm an atheist. I don't do no God. You need to pray. You got a mama, a daughter, some children. You need to pray. I'm telling you. And if you keep living, something will hit you hard enough to make you pray. You ain't trying to pray. The Bible speaks about most people want to pray. You know, uh, the Bible says they pray on the corners and in the synagogue to be seen. This ain't no time to be seen. I need to really pray. I'm praying for the world and the people. Um, God is pricking me hard to keep pushing this out there that he wants some new voices. Come on. He's tired of the same old sometime churchy people that pray only when you want something. Lord, help me get a new job. Lord, help me get a new car. Lord, help me here. You need to say that and move on, pray, and move on and believe God going to do it. And then if you using God like a spare tire, he ain't trying to hear you. I'm going to just be honest with you. You only use God when you're in trouble. That I'm not what I'm talking about. You only pray when you got a fat stake in, you, in, your, in, in front of you. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about having a relationship with God. And you read the book of Jonah, chapter 3, verses 7 to verse 10, you will see that God wants us to come together. And what this king did in, in, in Jonah, chapter 3, verses 10, uh, verses 7 through 10, he, he changed his way. In other words, he did the whole city like the world is doing now. He shut it down. He put them on a fast, everybody. Couldn't nobody eat or drink. Not even the, the livestock couldn't. And when he put that on there, God said he repented from what he was going to do. Oh, my 
God. I get happy right there. When God repented what he's going to do because of us, that shows how much he loves us. I'm telling you, that's walking around uh, uh, looking at, at them pills, getting depressed. I'm talking about you. It's a fight. No, let's fight. Let's fight through this. Let's put together some love on one another. And here's the thing. After it's over, well, let's continue so this don't come back. Come on, somebody. It's amazing what we can do when we pull together. That's why our church is not doing good because we don't look at it as family. A church is supposed to be a family. I should trust you. If you need some help, we could do it as a pastor. I'll do a fast offering that Sunday. Come on, somebody. Not no extra offerings. A fast offering for a family that need help. I am here from you. If you know me and you need, are you going through something? You're getting depressed? Come on, somebody. You, you look me up. This is my job. This is what I do as a pastor to encourage you to keep on fighting. But God wants some people that he haven't heard pray. Come on, church. Well, my time is about up. God bless you. Thank you for tuning in, tuning in to me. Uh, put some responses back out there.